Hello and here's my second video on Stardew Valley. Uh, in this video I'm just going to play the game basically, just going to do what I do. Um, I showed you all the basics last time, so this time you might see a few more uh, complicated game mechanics and all the rest of it, but basically I'm just going to do what I do on a daily basis on the game. So I've woken up, what am I going to do? I'm going to go and see what the weather's like. What the weather's like has a big impact. Ooh, my aubergines have grown. How exciting. So these have been growing for a while. I'm going to pick them. Pick them good. There we go. Lots of... Of course they're called eggplant in this game because it's... Because it's American and all that. Okay, so I've got plenty of aubergines there. Just going to have a very quick look to see... So I've got four gold quality, twelve silver quality, and three normal quality. That's because I've fertilised the ground, you see, um, beforehand. That's what these little brown specks are. That's, uh, if you fertilise the ground, you've got a better chance of getting higher quality uh, produce, so that, that's something. Um, check on my trees. I'm growing a little orchard here. I think a cherry tree. Oh, don't do that. Um, a couple of apricot trees. Go and check my mushroom cave. <laughs> Nothing there yet. That's where mushrooms grow. Ah, uh, dum dum dum. Right now, every day when it doesn't rain, you have to spend a considerable amount of time watering your plants. I'm going to focus on my yams because they're the cash crop. They're worth a lot of money if I uh, get them grown before the end of the month or the end of the season. As you can see at the top uh, top right hand corner. That tells us the day and the um, and the kind of date. So it's the 23rd day of autumn. There's only 28 days in a, in a season, so I've got five days to get these to um, grow to the point where I can pick them. Because when the seasons change, all of the fruit and veg that you're growing dies, with a few exceptions. It's pretty harsh. I didn't know that the first time I played it, so spring went into summer and all of my lovely cauliflowers and melons died. And I was very, very sad. I don't really know what was going on. So you've got to be on the ball. Oh, now that over there means that my maple tree has made some um, maple syrup. So I shall go and get that now. As you can see, watering the plants is a bit repetitive. Um, oops, kettle. And, and it's not exactly fun. But I don't know, you feel like you've got to do it. It's kind of worth it. I have that water. It's worth it if you persevere, it really is. Because then you get all your lovely crops, which is what you're playing the game for. So I water my plants. Do, 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 do. I will focus, like I say, on my yams. I'm not going to bother watering the other things because oh, I just haven't got the energy. Oops, pop that aubergine there. Careful. So as you can see, you can do a kind of eight. It's all set out to a grid, and you can do an eight square um, circumference around you with with any of the tools that you've got. Right there we are. Then I'm going to go and sell my aubergines down the lovely path. Um, sometimes you'll see things up here like nuts or berries and stuff that have fallen down that you can just grab into town. I'm going to sell my aubergines to the only person that will buy them, which is not that man. Go away. This man here, Pierre, there he is. He will buy my wares. So he will buy those, those, and those. And I make quite a lot of money from that, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna buy any um, any seeds now because it's too late in the season to, to plant anything else, which is kind of good because it means that towards the end of autumn, I can just focus on um, mining, fishing, and that kind of thing. Let's talk to people. Hello. Uh, yes. Yes. I wonder if he... I wonder too. I wonder too. I think George is the old guy in the wheelchair. He's a real bastard. He's just so miserable. But unfortunately, inter interactions are fairly limited. I need to do this. I need to do this. Right, I've agreed to get Clint, the blacksmith. I've agreed to show him, for some reason, 30 bits of copper ore. He won't take them off me, or let me keep them, but he wants to see them for reasons best known to himself. And I've only got a day to show him this and I get some gold for it, so sorry about this. I'm just going to go back to my little house, grab my copper, 
open my copper box. There we are. You want to see the ore, not the bars. Ugh. Right, so I'll take this to him. Needless to say, walking down this particular stretch of road can get a bit tiresome at times. Oh, there's a thing! A plum. It's a wild plum. I shall give that as a gift to some poor person. I like the way that he carries everything above his head like some kind of maniac. It's clearly the heaviest plum in the world. Right, where am I going? Blacksmiths. Blacksmiths. To show Clint my ore. Still carrying my plum. You! You want a plum? Hello! Oh, he's very happy with that. Look at that hair. I don't know what this does. Oh, that tells me how much he likes me. Ooh. Okay, well, you're worth getting to know better. Anyway. Oh. This is the blacksmiths. That's Clint. Hey, Clint. Oh. No, don't don't be depressed. I want to. Oh my word! Hold on. Gathering. Copper ores. Clint. Three hundred gold on delivery. Right. I don't want to give him a gift. I want him to appreciate that I've done this thing for him. Leave. You want me to upgrade? Yeah, I know that. 30 copper ore, yeah? 30 copper ores. Have I got to specifically... Yeah, I'll do this. Right, there. That's 30. Ah! That is Clint, isn't it? Yeah, it is Clint. What's going on? Gathering. I am looking for someone to bring me 30 copper ores to aid in the understanding. You're kidding. I have to collect them fresh. I can't give them ones that I already had. Oh. Oh, that's rough. Okay, well, I'm not doing that for you, mate. No, sorry. I haven't got time to go digging around for 30 more blooming copper. Pieces. Oh, God. Right. Okay. Okay. That's disappointing. What shall I do? I gave in... Ah, I know what I'll do. I want to go and check the um, community centre. The community centre is a kind of hub in the game. It's ruined and all run down and gross. But it's got things... Uh, it's got like... I don't know what the backstory is meant to be. It involves ghosts or something ridiculous. But it's got these um, little kind of collection points where you can collect various bits and bobs and you get rewards for them. So for example there's this one here which is the pantry. Now I need to get so one of each of these. Now obviously being stupid I've already just given all my eggplants to uh, Pierre. I haven't got any pumpkins growing. I can probably get a corn, I can probably get a yam. That's probably going to have to wait until next year now. It was a bit frustrating, to be honest. Uh, all of these things. I've got some of that. I could. I need, I need animals. I need animals. That's what I'm going to do. I am going to start animal farming. That's the trick. That's the point. Let's do that. Right, to start um, farming animals, you need the required houses for the animals. But not houses, you know what I mean. Um, pens, pastures, whatever you want to call them. You go to the carpenter. Hello, carpenter. And the carpenter's not there. You what? You doing what now for the what reason? Ugh. I suppose this is where it really is very much like real life. <sighs> right, so I can't buy any um, farm animal pens today. So that's good. So what I'm going to do is what I always do when I get really fed up in the game. I'm going to go home and I'm going to smash the hell out of some trees. Because I'm going to need um, wood anyway. If 
for the chicken coop that I'm planning on buying. I also want some. I want a cow shed. That's what. That's that's my new aim in the game to get a cow shed. That's what I'm going to do. Now, if I'm going to have a cow shed built, I would imagine, because remember, I'm not looking up anything, I'm not going on the internet and finding out answers to any of this, I'm just going to assume, I'm going to assume that for a cow shed, I'm going to need lots of wood. So I'm going to go into my little area of personal forest, and I am going to chop some trees down like a bad man. Here we go. Chop, chop, chop. Very satisfying. Very, very, very satisfying indeed chopping down trees on this game. The only sad thing is you can't chop other people's trees down. Which I think is a real shame. Because I think it'd be great to just go around someone's house, chop all their trees down and laugh at them. When they get upset. Right, as much... There are two types of wood at least in the game actually. And I've got a feeling that... Cowshed might need some of the better type of wood which you get from breaking up these stumps. Hard wood! So, I'll collect as much of that as I can as well. I'm probably going to need stone for a cowshed too. But I've got loads of that. How much wood have I collected? 71. Hmm. More. What's that? That's a giant mushroom. I've never seen. I haven't been this deep into my own personal forest before. A giant mushroom. Right, I'm gonna go and check that out. I am hungry, actually. It turns out my poor character is very hungry and I don't have anything to eat. Ah <sighs> I will have to wait for another day before I get to check out the wild mushroom. Um now I'm stuck. As you can see, it's getting dark, I'm starting to get really, really tired, I'm starting to feel exhausted. And the game is quite irritating that if I were to get so exhausted that I fell asleep, even in my own grounds, I would lose a load of money because the idea is that some benevolent stranger comes along and rescues you and puts you in your own bed. Um, you never see them, they just come along, put you in bed and take half your money. So I'm not going to let that happen. Let's watch the right, What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Much like it ever has been. Right, just sort out my wares. Put my wood over here. There we go. Um, oh, I'll put that in the recycling. This is a recycling machine over here. You put junk in it, and eventually, useful stuff comes out. But to, to bed! Yes. Ooh, what do I want to be? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, um, I never sell wood, but maybe I would sell it if it was worth more. Chance for double harvest of foraged items. Ooh, no, I like chopping trees down. I'm gonna be a forester. Here I am, it's morning time. My soggy newspaper has, through magical means, turned into a torch. And here I am. Yams! Delicious yams! They're ready. I'm going to make a fortune off these. I specifically planted loads of them because the first time I grew them, they were worth loads of money. So I went ahead and planted a thousand. With this money, I will definitely be able to afford my cow shed. Oh, I can't wait to see Pierre's face when I shove all these yams in his face. Good stuff. Good stuff. But, 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 I need to check out the um, mushroom. We need to. Where is it? It was over here. No, it was down. It was down more. It was down here. It's down. There we are. This is where I... Yes. Yes, 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 yes. There it is. Okay. Gonna get there. Won't take me long. Then I'll go and sell my yams. Yeah. Right. Um, 
mining. Nearly there, nearly there. I've got the horrible feeling it's going to be a terrible anticlimax. Ooh. Right. I'm going to chop it down. That's what I'm going to do. Yes, it's chopping. Oh, what's it turned into? Mushrooms! Thousands and thousands of tiny mushrooms, I've six. Six mushrooms. Oh, okay. Good. To be fair, the mushrooms are useful, but you can make potions and things like that. But even so, I was kind of hoping it might be a fairy home. Some kind of house with a gnome living in it. I don't know. Let's go into town and sell my yams. Go, go, go! God, the music is depressing. It's good though, it's good music, I like it. It's just quite maudlin. Oh. Right. Who needs my help? Slime Hunter to sleep. Fourth frost jelly in the frozen depths of the mine. Yes! I can and will do that. Oh no! Oh god, I forget that every single week. Right, so I can't sell my yams, which means I can't buy my cow shed. No one else wants the yams, you see, no one. Only the guy who works in that shop will buy my yams. And he closes on a Wednesday. <sighs> right. Hello, yes. Construct farm buildings. This is what I wish to have. A coop. Can I not do anything else? I want... Okay, well, I will have to get this then. But I actually need to bring the wooden stone with me. I have to bring it with me. You... You can't... You can't come back to my house and... Even though you're going to be coming back to my house to build the thing, I've got to bring the wooden stone to you. Oh! Right, come on. 300 wood, 100 stone. 300 wood, 100 stone. Ooh, right. Go away, birds! I'm determined this is going to happen today. I am going to get this built today. Even if I kill myself with boredom. Come on. wood, 100 stone. Let's collect that. I'll just take it all, why not? Doesn't seem to hold him back. Um, I'm going to go this way for a change. I just can't face walking down that same path again. Up the steps. This might actually be a little bit shorter. This might be a shortcut. And sometimes there's blackberries. Here we are. That was a shortcut. To be fair, that really was. Okay. Right, build me a coop. Build me a coop. I'm going to place it. Oh, please don't tell me I haven't cleared a place for it. Here we are. Yes, yes, it's perfect. There we are. Oh, wow. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'll start working on your new coop first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, oh God. You people. Um, yeah, whatever. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Thank you. Slowly. Okay, uh, what time is it? 11.40. I need to go and get those slimes. I said I was going to kill a load of frozen slimes, and that is what I'm going to do. Always keep an eye out for little bubbles in the water, because if you see that, that's like a super fishing spot for a limited time. 
It's always worth just having a quick look just in case. Right. Now the frozen jellies live right down at the bottom. Iron! I need iron! Iron's very, very useful. It's very rare early game, so whenever you see it, you tend to get quite excited. And there's no jellies here. Which means I have to endlessly dig, hoping to find the steps down. I think it's random. Basically, just mine long enough and you find the little ladder. There it is. Oh, goodness. Well, why is that? Oh, right. Okay, go away, ghost. And you too. I don't like these ghosts, they really freak me out. Ooh. Bats! Bats! Now here at see, I've brought a load of useless stuff. <laughs> Down to the mines with me. Oh, go away! Oh my god! These bat wings are worth a small amount of money, so I might have to collect it all. What can I put in the bin? There we go. Right. What I want to do is kill a load of jellies. You there! Is that a cross jelly? I don't know. do with those things. What am I going to get rid of? Those. Okay. Okie dokie. This is turning out to be fairly epically pointless. You must be frosted hours. I'll kill a few and then see if my numbers have changed. Killed three! One more! And I can get out of this dump. God, there's bats everywhere. I just want my iron ore. Right, go away, go away, leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave the mine. Thank you. Right. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go and sell my bat wings to the weird guy that lives in here. Hello. Take my wings. I need, I need one of those for that community centre thing. Right, I'm going to go home and then that will be the end of this video. Off we go. Dum -dum -dum. Long way home. What was I in the middle of doing? So I killed the jellies. That's a task done. I have bought my chicken coop. Hopefully going to be able to get a cow shed soon. Yeah, things are coming together. Things are coming together. I'm going to put my thingy in the thingy thing. There we go. So this is the community centre like before. If we go over here. I'll find a place to put this weird little solar essence monster loot. Blacksmith Adventurer Bundle. There we are. So now all I need is either one of those, which I've never seen, or 10 bat wings or 99 slimes. I might actually have the slimes at home. And then I'll get whatever reward I get for doing that. But now it's time to go home. Ooh, 
library. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Well, that's been a strange day. Walked down the most boring path in existence. And... Home. Hmm. Right, let's go and have a look. Oh, she's not started building it yet, has she? No. Right, I'm going to bed. Oh, no. Alright then, so there we go. That'll do. I will see you again next time.